Across France are preparing for mass marches to protest against sexual violence in the country and around the world. Well, Alex over in the Cube has been looking into this story. And Alex, what more can you tell us? Sam, if there was one incident which summed up this problem, it's probably this. The scene, it's a summer's evening in Paris. This is a the terrace of a cafe. It's a street cafe. Now, this was a scene caught on CCTV as Marie Laguerre, she's uh, a student, she's also, uh, if I fast forward a little bit, she walks here in red. She has just been catcalled, that is a man has shouted uh, sexual comments at her. She tells him to shut up, he then comes along here uh, shouting at her, confronting her. The two face to face before he strikes her, he punches her straight in the face. Look at the shock of the people here in the cafe. This incident shared, and the reason we are showing it to you is because this video was shared by Marie herself, she is still sharing it, and calling out what she quite clearly says is the sexual violence and the violence that women face when they try and call out harassment. Now, Marie is one of the uh, many women who are going to be marching uh, this Saturday uh, for uh, against sexual violence in France. Now, I spoke to Marie earlier this week and I asked her uh, about why, uh, about the response she'd had to this video and the message people had taken from it. Um, I think the, it really shocked people. Um, in a way, I think it's good that it made people react, both men and women. I mean, women, they um, they know how it felt and men maybe discovered or how bad it could be. And I think it's it's quite upsetting and frustrating that we need a video and proof, solid proof for people to actually believe us. Saying it's quite upsetting that they needed a video like that to see how really punched in the face when she's confronting it to, to motivate people to get involved with this debate. Well, you can see here she's sharing a lot of the hashtags around this march, including I'm marching on the 24th and we are everyone, they're meaning women, we are all women. Now this march uh, is calling out sexual violence. The epicenter will be in Paris on their Facebook event. They've had over 50,000 people interacting with it. So it's going to be a big event. And I asked Marie, what is the message? What is the message these women want people to take away? The message is that women, as we have enough, uh, we face violence in many different forms every day. It can be just harassment, um, insults, uh, aggressions, sexual assault, rape, and also murders. Uh, and this happens every day in France, but also in the world. And we just want to say that we've had enough. We've had enough. That is their message. Now, France has already tightened up its laws. In August, uh, politicians were forced to tighten up the laws on sexual harassment, upskirting, this kind of thing. But there are still demands for these uh, laws to be tightened further still and for women around the world to be protected. Now, this on the eve uh, which uh, of Sunday, which will be the UN event, the International Day for Ending Violence Against Women. A very strong message from women in France and around the world this weekend that things have to change. Yeah, a weekend of protests. Alex and the Cube team, thank you.